SpaceX achieved another phenomenal feat and the congratulatory messages pouring in is truly deserved. Recently, the space company successfully sent an all-civilian crew to orbit and back without any issues. The Inspiration4 crew spent three days away from Earth in a feat that will surely inspire the public regarding the safety of space trips for non-astronauts. Besides the all-civilian crew, another thing that caught the attention of observers was the fact that the crew used Apple devices throughout their trip. But why? Why Apple of all products? Stick around because in this video we will tell you all you need to know about the Inspiration4 mission and what this means for the future of space travel. On the 14th of September, a SpaceX rocket carrying an all-civilian crew launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center located in Florida. The rocket had a crew of civilians without any prior experience about space. The non-astronaut crew consisted of a community college professor, a physician assistant, a billionaire who came up with the idea in the first place, and a data engineer. All four spent a total of three days in orbit, heralding a new turn of events for the future of space travel. After their tour in orbit, the rocket landed safely in the Atlantic Ocean under the full glare of the watching world. The mission, named Inspiration4 Tour, has been called a success because there were no hitches from the takeoff point to the final landing phase. After the trip, the capsule landed at the designated landing point without any problems as the crew were welcomed back to Earth by Chris Young, the Director of Space Operations at SpaceX. And the reaction from everyone involved was positive all through. Jared Isaacman, the 38-year-old billionaire who funded the mission, said as much when he said the mission to space was only getting started. The success of Inspiration4 is a continuation of groundbreaking achievements recorded by the space industry in 2021 alone. For instance, a few months ago, SpaceX rivals Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, two space companies owned by Jeff Bezos and Sir Richard Branson, travelled independently to orbit in their crafts their engineers had designed in a show of success. Their successful trip was something of a marketing ploy to encourage other wealthy individuals to make the trip. Mr. Isaacman, the financier of the Inspiration4 voyage, has now gone a step further by travelling with his crew to an altitude of 366 miles, which is a lot further than the Hubble Space Telescope and the International Space Station at an orbital speed of 17,000 miles per hour. But that is not the only thing that makes this remarkable achievement by SpaceX outstanding. It is now on record that the SpaceX Inspiration4 mission is the first ever mission to travel to orbit and back without the presence of a professional astronaut as part of the crew. This move alone is far-reaching and strategic. What Elon Musk and his team are attempting to prove is that their technology is safe, efficient and feasible. So, in the near future, the company can successfully train people to pilot a capsule to space and back. The crew of Inspiration4 are a closely knit group led by the 38-year-old billionaire founder of Shift4 Payments, Mr. Isaacman. Shift4 Payments is a company that operates a payment platform for businesses and restaurants in particular. Another crew member is Haley Arcano, a 29-year-old physician assistant working at St. Jude Children's Centre in Memphis. Then we have Sean Proctor, a 51 Community College professor in Phoenix, who is also the first black woman to pilot a space mission. Last but not least is a data engineer by the name of Christopher Sembrowski, a 42-year-old who lives in Western Washington. The success of space technology over the last few years has been nothing but outstanding, and the success of Inspiration4 has broken several records along the way. One unrelated record you should know about is that, at the time of the launch, there were 14 people in orbit, including the four Inspiration4 crew members. This record made it the first time so many people would be in orbit at the same time. For a brief period, three Chinese astronauts were in space, including seven astronauts stationed at the International Space Station, performing observatory missions. Now, observers are calling it a success story and a pointer to a future where so many people can live and work in space at the same time. But what does this mean for the future of SpaceX? A lot, if we are being honest. Elon Musk's company is regarded by industry observers as the best space company in the world, with so many firsts that will make rival companies envious. Their technology is tested and proven to the point where even NASA ranks their technology above that of other contractors. For instance, the Crew Dragon spacecraft used to transport the Inspiration4 crew to space is also the vessel used by the company to take NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. This alone proves that SpaceX technology can be trusted. So the groundbreaking achievements of the space industry, led by SpaceX, has created an entirely new industry out of nothing. 
a space tourism industry that will be funded by the cash dollars of wealthy billionaires interested in space flights. These successful test flights conducted by Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and SpaceX have generated significant interest in such trips and as of the time of making this video, the number of inquiries coming in from customers has gone through the roof. Although orbital flights are still very expensive and only the super-rich can afford them, however, many observers believe that in years to come they will become a lot cheaper than it is today as the technology improves and becomes more affordable. There was intense media interest in the weeks leading to the launch of the Inspiration4 mission. For months, the crew underwent intense training similar to the exercises that NASA astronauts undergo to prepare them physically, mentally and emotionally for the voyage. They also appeared on the cover of Time magazine and a Netflix documentary was produced showing their training regime. To conclude the series, a final episode was aired at the end of September in which the crew recount their experiences in orbit. Besides the documentary side of things, the mission was recorded every step of the way, starting from the first day of the mission with a few updates posted on Twitter. But as the launch day approached, the respective Twitter and Instagram feeds of the crew members were constantly updated. The crew also received calls from patients of St. Jude Children's Hospital and this generated a lot more interest in the mission and now we are seeing the financial impact of the whole exercise. If reports are anything to go by, media reports claim that the mission has raised more than $160 million, out of which $100 million was donated by Mr. Isaacman and the funds are going to St. Jude Hospital, a centre that treats cancer in children at no extra cost to their families. As if that wasn't enough, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, made an announcement via Twitter that he would add an extra $50 million contribution to the fund to push the intake far beyond the $200 million funding goal of the mission. Since returning to Earth, the crew have been quite busy. They had a call with Hollywood actor Tom Cruise and perhaps a movie in space could be in the making. Also, an online betting company has announced that Mr. Isaacman has become the first person to place a bet from space. Then, on the Friday after their arrival, the crew was hosted by the New York Stock Exchange and they rang the closing bell they had brought with them from orbit and even presented a 10-minute live update on YouTube of their voyage. The crew used Apple products all through the mission. Some of the devices used include Apple Series 6 watches, iPhone 12 Pro and iPad minis and several other health experiment devices. Of all the products SpaceX would have chosen, they picked Apple and it is not hard to see why. According to Jimmy Wu, a senior biomedical engineering at the Trish Institute and one of the leading instructors at the Baylor Medicine College, Apple have great products whose quality speak for themselves. The crew used their Apple devices to examine the impact of space flights on the human body. They also performed experimental checks using their Apple watches to collect raw data on matter movement, sleep, heart rhythm and heartbeat rate, blood oxygen, light intensity, cabin noise and a whole host of data. They even paired the iPhone 12 Pro with the IQ Butterfly ultrasound device to scan the organs of crew members. All these data will be analysed in the coming weeks and months to better understand how the human body reacts to life in space. Well, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more. Until next time.